that's the drive shaft or the input shaft. So there's three. See these grooves here mm -hmm. and here, mm -hmm. and there's one on this big gear. Mm -hmm. That's where your shifter forks go, and your shift tower, which has your sh stick shift, when you put it over and up, it puts it into reverse. It moves this gear back okay. and it engages. When it's forward, it doesn't engage. It just so spins. everything. See how the input shaft spins opposite than the main shaft? That's cool. It's because these main gears. Uh, let's see. This main gear is turning what's called the counter shaft down low, and then the counter shaft is turning uh, this reverse shaft down there, which is changing the direction of everything. So then you shift it into first. Now everything spins the same direction. You shift it into second. It uses these synchros, slides the synchro into place. It's hard to do. into second okay. now the whole thing's spinning but it's not at quite a different shift range or uh, ratio right mm -hmm. then you shift it into third if I can get it out a second it engages into third somewhere Anyways, does the same thing. Goes into third. Fourth, this synchro just meshes with the input gear. So when it slides forward, let's see. Maybe I can get it to go. There, it slides forward and meshes with the input gear. Uh, no, that went backwards. <laughs> There you go. There. Now, it spins at the same ratio that the engine's turning. And then when you shift it out of fourth and into fifth, that meshes with the counter shaft at a different gear ratio. Now, the output is actually spinning faster than the input. So they they call that overdrive because you're spinning it faster than what the input actually is. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So the transmission was making a really bad racket because fifth gear right there is missing two half teeth and then like three full teeth. Mm -hmm. And so as it was going around, um, there's drag on the main link. Mm -hmm and there's power from the input. <clears throat> and so as, when it would hit this dead spot, it would slow down. The engine would speed up. Obviously it's happening very quickly. But then once it re-engages, it would make a banging noise because it's slamming into it because there's a difference in speed there. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Spin it again to the broken pieces. Uh, there you go. So you ordered a new one? Yeah. That's this piece right here. It's got all its teeth still. Cool. How do you take it off? Well, I gotta take this yoke off. I gotta take this carrier bearing, this, this uh, carrier off. Then I should be able to pop the whole main shaft back and tilt it up and up. And then this fourth, fifth synchro comes off. And then there's a thrust washer and then a clip. And then fifth should come off. And then it's just the reverse. Slide the new fifth on. Clip, thrust washer, synchro. Put it back into place. What kind of grease is in there? It's pretty greasy. Uh, it's gear oil, heavyweight gear oil. Hmm. Like 
90 weight or something like that.